In the present video, I will be answering one question that was asked by one of the subscribers of this channel. This question is related to the probability rules, and it's an application of one or two of these probability rules that we studied in other videos. The question is this. A company has three black and white copy machines and two color copiers. The chance that each black and white copier will be down for repair is 0.08. The color copier are more of a problem and are down 25% of the time each. With this information, we need to answer these questions. Based on this information, what is the probability that if a customer needs a color copy, both color machines will be down for repairs? B. If a customer wants both a color copy and a black and white copy, what is the probability that the necessary machines will be available? Assume that the color copier can also be used to make a black and white copy if needed. C. If the manager wants to have at least a 99% chance of being able to furnish a black and white copy on demand, is the present configuration sufficient? Assume that the color copier can also be used to make a black and white copy if needed. D. What is the probability that all five copiers will be up and running at the same time? And E. Suppose the manager added a fourth black and white copier. How would the probability of a copier being ready at any time be affected? Let's answer the first of these questions. Based on this information, what is the probability that if a customer needs a color copy, both color machine will be down for repairs. For answering this question, let's type a symbol for each of the events. I'm going to call B1 the event that the first black and white copier is down for repair. And B2 will be the second black and white copier is down for repairs. We have three black and white machines, so B3 will be the third black and white machine copy is down for repair. And we're going to do with the other events. The color copiers are down for repair. Let's call C1. The first color copier is down for repair. And C2, the second color copy is down for repair. The information that they give me was that the probability that the black and white is, each of these black and white copiers is down for repair is 0 0.08. So I'm going to type probability of BI, I could be between 1 and 3, will be. 0.08. And the probability that each of these is, is down for repair is 25%. So I'm going to type that probability of CI equals 0.25. In this case, I could be 1 or 2. And the question that they are asking me is what is the probability that the first machine is down for repairs and the second machine? If they say both are down for repairs, so both machines are down for this repair, so it will be the probability of C1 and C2. So they are asking me the probability of the joint event. And this joint event, remember, if we have two events, is the product of the probability of the first one times the probability of the second one, given the first one. In this case, if one of the events, if one of the machines is down, the probability of the other to be down is the same. So these two events are independent. So we can type here just for remembering what is the rule related to, it, to independent events. If, if A and B are independent events, then the probability of A and B will be the product of their probability. And if we have more than two events, it will have the same. It will, the probability of several events will be the product of their probabilities. So here will be the probability of C1 times the probability of C2. And each one is 0 0.25, so it will be 0 0.25 times 0 0.25, and this is 0 0.0625.
So this answers the first questions. The probability that both color, match color machines will be down for repairs will be 0 0.0625. Let's answer now the second question. If a customer wants both a color copy and a black and white copy, what is the probability that the necessary machines will be available? Assume that the color copier can also be used to make a black and white copy if needed. We know that the only way that the black and white copy cannot be obtained is if all the machines are down. Black and white and color included. Obviously, because we can also make a black and white copy with a color machine. This is part of the information. Then, the probability that the black and white copy is not available will be the probability that the first black and white copy is down for repair, that the second is also uh, down for repair, and the third is, black, uh, is down for repairs. So this will be the product using this, ru this rule of the independence events. So it will be the probability of the first one is down, the second black and white is down, and the third black and white copier is down. But also we can take a black and white copy from these color copy machines. So it will be also that these copiers are down. Sometimes the probability that the color copier is down times the probability that the second copier, color copier is down. And we have the information of this probability. So this probability will be 0 0.08 times 0 0.08 times 0 0.08. And this is 0 0.25, so it will be 0 0.25 times 0 0.25. If I use my calculator, the answer is 0 0.000032. This is the probability that the black and white copy is not available. But what will be the probability that is available? So it will be 1 minus this. Then it will be the probability that the black and white copy is available will be 1 minus 0 0.000032. And this equals to 0 0.99968. The probability is not available, the color copy. Obviously, color copy only can be taken from the color copier. So it will be the probability that the first copy, copier, color copier is not available times the probability that the second color copier is not available. And we, we already did that in the previous question. So that will be 0 0.25 times 0 0.25 equals 0 0.0625. This is a probability that the color copy is not available. So then the probability that the color copier is available will be 1 minus this. It will be 1 minus 0 0.0625. And this is using my calculator, the answer is 0 0.9375. But the question is, what is the probability that is available a black and white copy and also a color copy? So this is the question. A customer wants both, a color copy and a black and white copy. So again, I can use the fact that these two events are independent and just multiply the two probabilities. So it will be the probability that is available the black and white and is available the color copy. So it will be 0 0.999968 times 0 0.9375. And the answer is almost the same of this as 0. 9375. Obviously, we are multiplying by almost 1. Maybe there is some difference but in the other decimal, but here until the fourth decimal is the same answer. And this answer questions B. The third question is the following. If the manager wants to have at least a 99 chance, 99% 99 chance of being able to furnish a black and white copy of the man, is the present configuration sufficient? And we know that we are going to assume that the color copier can also be used to make a black and white copy if needed. So, the probability that the company is not able to meet the demand of a black and white copy 
is that prob the probability that none of these machines works. Yeah? So it will be the probability that the first black and white machine doesn't work, the probability that the second machine is down, the third is down, and also the, the colors machines are down. And we know if we multiply these numbers, it's 0 0.8 0, times 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.25 times 0 0.25, and the answer we already get it in the previous problem, 0 0.00032. Then the probability that there is available a black and white copy any time will be 1 minus this number. This is the probability of no available. So the probability of available will be 1 minus 0 0.0032, and this is equal 0 0.99997. This configuration would be sufficient to have more than 99% chance of furnishing a black and white copy. And this answers the third question. Let's answer now question D. What is the probability that all five copiers will be up and running at the same time? So what will be the probability all five running? So it means the first black and white is running, the second one is, uh, is running, etc. So it will be the probability of this running is actually the probability of it's not down. So it will be the probability that the first one is not down times the probability that the second one is not down times the probability that the third one is not down times the probability that the color copier's one is not down times the probability that the second copier is not down. And if we know that the probability that the, this copier is down is 0 0.08, then the probability of no down will be 1 minus 0 0.08. So it will be 0 0.92. So this one here will be 0 0.92 times 0 0.92 times 0 0.92. The probability that the copier, the color copier is down is 0 0.25. So the probability of no down will be 0 0.75. This will be 0 0.75. If I do that in my calculator, the answer is 0 0.4380. And this will be the answer of question D. Let's answer now the last question. Suppose the manager added a fourth black and white copier. How would the probability of all copiers being ready at any time be affected? And we know that the probability when we had five copiers, the probability that being ready was 0.43a. Now we have a new black and white copier. So the probability that all six are running, so now we have six machines, all are running, it will be again the probability that is not down the first one, is not down the second, is not down the third black and white, and is not down a fourth one. So now we have a fourth machine, a fourth black and white machine times the probability that it is not down the first color copier machine and is not down the second color copier machine. And all this probability, we know that this is 0 0.92, the probability that is not down the, each of these machines, 1 minus 0 0.08. So it will be 0 0.92 times 0 0.92 times 0 0.92. And this will be 0 0.75, we know that, yeah? 0 0.75 times 0 0.75 is the, the probability that is not down the color machines. Then we multiply all of them, and if we multiply all of them, the answer is 0 0.430. 4030. This is smaller than the previous number, the previous number is 0 0.438. Eh? So this is 0 0.430. So if we add one, black and white copier, now the probability of all copier being ready is down, yeah? it's now 0 0.4030. So the probability goes down to sorry, 0 0.4030 will be the answer of this last question. And with this, I finish my explanation of this problem. Thank you.